Now, in Sicily, cauliflower is called broccolo. In dialect, it's broccolo and it's green. And sometimes it's hard to find cauliflower. It's only in your in your grocer a few uh, a few weeks of the year. So if you can't find it, you could substitute broccoli. So we're using broccoli and cauliflower here. We have pre-cooked this so that it is still al dente, but it's cooked. And what we want to do is combine that with pasta. So here we have rapidly boiling salted water. And for this dish, because it is a traditional Sicilian dish, we are using a type of pasta called bucatini. Bucatini is a thicker pasta. It means pasta with a hole in the middle because buca means hole. So it takes a little longer to cook. So once your water is at a, a rapid boil, you take the bucatini and get it in. Try to push that down below the water line. If you're like me, the water is going to go all over your stove top. I know because you remind me of this all the time. So you get it down into the water and I'll let that sink down and then come back and push it down in. And you want to cook that until it is al dente. Let that go for a second. While we talk about the sauce for this. Now the sauce for this has kind of an agro dolce flavor to it. Something meaning sweet and sour because we're talking about Sicily. So we want to start in a pan making a sauce out of some olive oil. So here we have a little olive oil. Well, a lot of olive oil. So you want to put the olive oil in a pan, maybe about a third of a cup. And then you want to chop up some garlic, fresh garlic. Just mince it up there. One clove should do it. And you get that in the pan with one of my favorite ingredients, and that would be anchovy. Here they are right here. Anchovies in oil come like this. You buy them in your grocery store. Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm going to put an extra couple there because I like anchovy. But you can use as little or as many as you want. So what we're going to do is chop those up. Just give them a coarse chop. What you want to do here is almost have these anchovies dissolve in this oil. So in they go. Now this is going to give a really salty flavor to this. I shouldn't say really salty, but it's going to be saltier than normal. So don't add any additional salt. So now that we have that in, get a clean spoon here and let's get that going in the oil. We really want that to flavor that oil. Back to the pasta. All right, now we are below the water line. Give it a stir. And we're going to cook that, as I say, to the al dente stage. All right, here we have, I wish you could be here with me in the kitchen because these anchovies are smelling fabulous. You don't want to burn them, so really control that heat. Now we want to add some hot red pepper flakes. So there's a few, not a lot. Get that going. You see how those anchovies are just, they're just really dissolving in that oil. I'm going to turn that down even more. And then we want a little bit of black pepper. I'm not putting any salt in because I can always go back and correct the salt. Remember, I've got these anchovies in here. And really, this is a very, very quick sauce to make. You just let those anchovies really, really, really get soft in that olive oil. And then, what's neat about this recipe is what the Sicilians do next, which is to add pine nuts, because in Sicily there are a lot of stone pine trees from where pine nuts are extracted. So we're going to add some pine nuts to this, staying with tradition, and mix those all in. You may find that you have to add a little bit more olive oil. You'll just have to gauge this depending on how much of a sauce you want, but I don't want to drown this in sauce. And then we want some currants. And here they are, currants. You could use raisins if you wanted to. So now you see where this sweet and sour flavor is coming from. So there are our currants. We add them. And then we take the cauliflower or the combination of cauliflower and broccoli. Remember, in Sicily, that's called broccolo. And we put it right in there. 
with this mixture. And we just really want to get that cooked in the anchovy and the pine nuts. And we're going to have to add a little bit more olive oil to this. I can see that. We need more oil here. So adding a little oil. And while that's getting permeated, while this mixture is getting permeated with these flavors, we want to go back and check the pasta. So we're going to let this cook for a few minutes. And let's come on over here and see what's happening. Okay, this pasta is cooked. Bucatini. No white flour. We can drain it. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of the cooking water because that has starch and put it right there with my sauce. Now we can drain this. No oil in the pot. Remember, that is no-no when you're cooking pasta. If you have enough water, you don't need it. And now we can turn this off and pour that right there. And now you just want to toss this. I wish you could just smell the anchovy in this. So this is a very unusual pasta dish. It reminds me very much of the many, many times I've been to Sicily. So you want to give that a really good toss, really toss it well so that everything gets beautifully combined. And then at the end, you want to add what the Sicilians would add to this, toasted breadcrumbs right over the top, just like that. Mm -hmm.